Hello everyone, welcome to WISRP. It seems like Mona and Mickey decided to come back because they know I was going to kill them and whatnot. They tried to snitch into the LA cops I heard from Marcus and whatnot. Now they're back out here and I know where mm -hmm. exactly she's at. I've been following her and she's at the house. So I'm going to be on my way to the house, ladies and gentlemen. And then later on in the second part of this video, you're going to see Dickie kill Mickey Jr. So let's get mm -hmm. on with the RP as I get ready to go kill her. Just hide behind this wall, make sure I don't see anyone, man. See anyone over there? Nope. Pretty good. Let's just walk slowly. Let's not act suspicious. Marcus said this is gonna be really quick and it's gotta be one and done and out, man. Hopefully Mickey could do the same later when he finds Mickey, man. The son. Oh. oh shit. Stay away from the windows as much as possible, man. Just walk normal like this to my house. Alright, let's keep this door open. Yeah! What's up, you son? Mickey! Mickey! Oh! 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 oh. Yeah, oh. take that. You see, wanna throw oh. me off a bridge? You wanna throw oh. me off a bridge? Oh. Oh. Let's get out of here, man. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, I messed up, man. I dropped that glass bottle. I don't think I, I don't think I'm supposed to drop it. Uh oh. Marcus ain't gonna be happy about that, man. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Get in the van, man. Get in the van. What you guys are witnessing right now in this video, you're seeing Dickie's side of what he's doing and record his part. So it's a little quiet, but as you see, he's getting caught by the cops over there and getting checked out. Marcus had hooked up some surveillance cameras inside the house, and I'm getting to see the full story, man. Hopefully, they don't find that glass bottle I think I accidentally dropped.
A few minutes later... What's going on over here, man? There's an engine in front of my, my mom's house, man. You better walk, walk in there. Mom, I'm home. Mom, uh, mom. What happened to my mom? To come in here right now. What, what happened to my mom? Outside. Yeah. Okay, what happened to my mom? Is that your mom inside? Yeah, it's my mom, Mona Flowers. Oh, okay. Yes, that's it. What happened to her? I can't, I can't really disclose that to you. It's okay. kind of weird. Uh, well, I did try to warn some cops back in L.A. because they, we went on vacation and my dad was hunting, finding us, and following us, and it's been state after state that he's been trying to come after us. I think he may have killed my mom, not 100% sure, but he did threaten her a bunch of times that he's going to kill her. What was this? Uh, this was like a week ago. We went on vacation to L.A., and then we traveled all the way back from L.A., going through all the states, coming back up here. And every state we went to, like, they just got into fights, and he was threatening her all the time, but he never done anything, but maybe he did. I mean, I don't know. Hey. Okay. Um, we can just, like, step over there while I talk to this officer. Yeah, sure. What's going on, man? What's going on? Not much. I mean, my, my mom, I, apparently something bad happened to her. And I think I know who did it. It could have been my dad, uh, Mickey uh, Sticky Flowers. Uh, we went on vacation last week to L.A. And we traveled from all the states from L.A. coming back up to here. And every state we went to, she was, like, they were fighting. He was threatening her. There was a few times that he was going to kill her. But he never did it. But, I mean, now I think that he may have done that. Alright, give me just a second here. Uh, I'm gonna jot a couple things down. First off, what's your name? My name's Mickey Sticky Flowers Jr. How are you gonna spell that? M I C K Y, and then Sticky, S T I C K Y, and then Flowers, F L O W E R S, and then Junior, J R. Alrighty. And uh, go ahead, just from beginning to end, what, what happened? What's going on? So, we, we went on to vacation to Los Angeles to go see some type of sports event that my dad bought tickets to and whatnot. And then on the way back from L.A., state to state, we're like visiting all these memorials and monuments and whatnot. And they were always arguing and fighting, my dad and my mom, Mono Flowers. They were always fighting, and he was threatening her, and there was like four or five times he said he was going to kill her, but, I mean, he never did, but I just got off of work, and now I think she's dead. Would you say your mom's name was again? Mona, M-O-N-A, and then Flowers. Hi. You can't park there, man. Hey, man. You can't park on Santa Claus, man. On Santa Claus? Yeah, man. You don't see the dead body under there, man. I do not. Can't park on Santa Claus, man. Hey, I'm having a bad day. Could you please go away, sir? Um, I could give you a bad day, man. My, my mom's already dead, so I'm having the worst day right now. Um, you want a cake bar? Do I want a <laughs> what? I need you to leave. A cake can you, bar? Can you get away from me, sir? Sir, there, you man. Thank you. Uh, thank you, officer. <laughs> you want a cake bar, man? Alright, mm. so, uh, made multiple threats along with threats to kill her. Um, anything after that? Uh, but yeah, but well, I know, I know he made threats to her and whatnot. I mean, he's never done anything, but from all the way from L.A. traveling all the way back up here, it's just threats and threats. And I think he might have, he might have did something this time. I mean, I'm not saying he did, but I mean, he was threatening her, and I think that he probably would have did it if he was gonna keep on arguing and fighting. I mean, it was to a point where I thought they were gonna get a divorce, but it, it got even more serious than that, man. I was scared. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Do you know where he's at currently? Don't you cry. I mean, usually he hangs out at like uh, Stab City or he's at Ace Liquor or the Yellow Jack. I mean, those are only three places I would know you could find him at. He's usually driving around in the yellow van. Or you might see him All driving right. around in a yellow van. Dicky. Hey. Hey, you want my cake bar? You want to buy my cake bar? Sorry, I'm going to need you to back up. Man. Alrighty. Uh, what we're going to do, um, if you have any updates on where he is, go ahead and call 911 again. Alright, I will. Um, we're going to keep an eye out for him. Um, ask him a couple questions, all that fun stuff, alrighty? Alright, man. Um, where's your mom? You should ask if you can go see her. I think she's in the it, house. You should ask if you can go see her before they yep. take her away. It, they told me I gotta stay here. You're going in. I was about to ask that. Come on, man. Buy my gate bar, bro. Get out of here, man. Bro, I know you want a gate no, bar, bro. This get shit out got of here. THC, HHC, no. Delta 8, Delta 9, I don't, nine, do, I Delta don't do, No, I don't do drugs. Get out of here, man. Get off my property, man. Hopefully I get to see my mom for to take her away, say my goodbye to her. I think she's dead. They don't want me to go in, they're saying it's a private investigation. I think my dad may have did something, man. He kinda of scared, man. He could be anywhere right now. A few minutes later. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of the Mickey and Dickie's Wild well, Ride here in the part where we kill him for the grand finale. Moment. God damn it. What? Priority. Huh? Priority. Oh, uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. Welcome back here to part two of the finale here of the five-part series where me and Dickie go on the wild ride and we kill Mona and Mickey. Mona has already been killed. Now it's time for Mickey to get killed. And how is that going to happen? We're going to find out here in a matter of moments because you're not going to see my part of the video because I'm just going to be basically standing here. I'm going to swap things over on the screen, and you're going to see what Dickie's doing, and you're going to see his whole experience of him getting ready when he says he's ready to drive off and start things at the RP, and he'll make his way up to the closed store. He'll do what he's got to do at an RP type deal, and Mickey Jr. will be dead, and then he will drive away. He'll spawn as a different character, be my manager, but I don't know, some old guy just came here and killed him, man, like how I did in the first part where I spawned as Mickey Jr. So... Let's get on with this episode, and let's see what this episode takes us. Alright, so, slash, OC, start, work, store. Uh, yeah, hello? Oh, uh, what's going on, Mickey? What's going on, man? Yeah, uh, what happened, man? Well, uh... What do you mean about what happened to Mona? Yeah, you know about that. Oh well, uh, I can tell. Is you. it finished? Oh yeah, it it's done. 
She's done? Yep, I ended her. She's dead. All right, let's not talk too much, but uh, I'll, 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 I'll meet you at a certain spot. Uh, where, where you want to meet at after I'm done? Let's let's meet up at Stab City, man. Stab. Yeah. All right, man. I'm 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 grabbing a piece now, and then I'll text you when I'm done. All righty, man. Sounds good, man. See you later, Dicky. Hopefully, you get it clear and done like I did. All right, all right, Mickey. Be safe. All right. pistol here. Nice. Nice and shiny pistol for him. Oh, it's gold too. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I always liked that fucking kid, man. It's a shame that he's gotta go out the way he's going, but look, we can't have no more snitches around, man. And Mickey's my best bud. He ain't never switched up on me. I mean, shit. I've only known him since Coachella, since teen years, but... Fuck. I've known him my whole life. And we're in the 60s. Fuck. But I know my sister my whole fucking life. And ain't that about a bitch. She's dead now. <laughs> well. So, uh, she hated me anyways. Fucking cunt. I think he works at the fucking clothing store or the little fucking shop or the pet shop I don't know I mean, I'm kind of dumb at doing stuff like this. I ain't never done this before. Oh! Oh, you, you're good. He pulled a gun on you, too. Are you all right, man? Oh, fuck. Yeah, hey, you're pretty swole, man. Fuck. Dude, I used to be... I used to look like you when I was younger, but, I mean, look at me now. I mean, I'm trying, but, hey, that's the drugs, man. <laughs> I need the drugs that you're on. But then again, you're, you're on that powder. That straight straight powder, bro. Lifting weights and shaking eggs and <laughs> kissing babes. But, shit, man, you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Don't, don't worry about the damage, man. I ain't tripping. Shit. But fuck, man, you be safe out here. Uh, you're good. Go fucking merc that guy or some shit. I'm gonna go merc somebody else. <laughs> it's all right. This van could take a beating. I mean, look at it. It's been in fucking hell through back. Let's see. Yep, I see his little car right there. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Where's this little fucker at? Hello, welcome to the... Wait a minute, Dicky. Hey, Mickey Jr. What's going on, man? Not much, man. I just wanted to come talk to you, man. How you... How you doing? I do a terrible. My mom passed away, man. Mona? Yeah, your sister's dead, man. Oh. I think, oh, I, no. I think it was Mickey that did it, man. My father. Oh no! I think I think he stabbed her multiple oh, times. Oh no, no, dude! But whatever happened at the tequila, I, I'm I'm desperately sorry, man. I don't know. Mickey's been he's been on some other shit lately. Ever since you, your mom and him, I don't know. I mean, I never liked her. I mean, she always hated me, but I don't know, man. This is you, you, you. 
You're saying she's dead? Yep, she's dead. I, I got to see her dead body. The paramedics brought me in and everything. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. I know, man. Fuck, I'm gonna hurl. Oh, I'm gonna hurl. You're making me scared now, man. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I just can't. I mean, I know, fuck, it's my sister. I couldn't stand her. Fuck, dude, That's no. my mom, man. I know, I know, it's your mom, but I loved her fuck. to death, man. I loved her with my heart, but hell, she fucking annoyed me so much. Ah. Oh. That's okay, I told the cops that I think my dad did it, man. Yeah. I had a snitch. Did. You. You. You did, did what? what? Oh, I, 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 I had a snitch. You snitched? Yeah, I mean, I told him I wasn't 100% sure that he killed him, but he was threatening her whole entire vacation from L.A. back, man. What? You fucking snitched? Yeah, well, I did, but I said I had no proof, but I said that he did threaten. You Whoa! fucking Whoa! snitched? No, no, put the gun down, put the gun down, no, what you are you doing? You fucking no. snitched. No, 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 don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot you me, no, no, snitched. no, don't shoot me, no, 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 please. Show me your fucking hands. No, no. I'm Get on your knees. Put this gun no, in your mouth. No. Put it in your mouth. No. Put it in your mouth. No. Get on your knees. Get out of here. No. Ow. I'll shoot you. Do it. Yeah? Yeah, and me like you did my oh, 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 oh. Uh. I fucking hate snitches. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, officer. Officer. Officer! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! He's, He's been, been shot. shot! Oh! There's blood everywhere! Oh my god! Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up! Oh! Oh, holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Was just coming back from the bank, checking the deposits, and I, I seen some old hippie dude run out with a gun, and he's all laying here like this. I don't know. Right, I, have what I want you to do. Uh, I want you to just go ahead and go sit down, uh, oh. get some water, just, just try and relax. Oh. Right. And, uh, I should go check the cameras. Yeah. I'll go ahead and pull that in just a second. Just go ahead and dust it down. Okay. Ooh. Oh, see. At clothing store. Two, four, four. Round sixty-eight. Old. KP comes in, talking to worker.
going so, on? So, I uh, came in here. He's got... What's it called? <laughs> he, he's most likely 1144. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, it looks like he's been here late now for a while. I'll let you do all your fancy oh. stuff with it. I'm going to go pull some CCTV and figure out what happened there. Yeah. Alright, where's your uh, CCTV system at? It's in the back. Back here. It's looking like some old hippie dude came in and shot him. It looked like they were arguing on the camera. A few minutes later. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part three. I was gonna meet Mickey and Mickey and Dickie was gonna meet each other up at, you know, well, we said uh, Step City, but Marcus had told us to meet us at, uh, we'll meet up at this hospital. And here he is right now, I'm smoking a cigarette or whatnot. What, 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 what? Uh, what's up, man? Did you do it? It's done. Uh, how, how, how'd you feel after doing it? Uh, pretty intense, man. It, it was, was intense. intense. Yeah, it was intense when I killed your sister, but it had to be done. I kept on, like, stabbing her multiple times, man, over and over and over, and I kept on like, kicking her body, saying, you want to throw me off the fucking bridge? Yeah, I fucking, I, I had to go across the street, and he was, he was at the job, and... Uh, I went across the street, grabbed me a six-pack, drank some beer, smoked me a joint. I had to slap myself a couple times because I, you know, I ain't never killed nobody before. But and plus, he was like a son of mine, and I'm like fuck. I went in, I talked to him a little bit, and then he, 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 I told him, you know, I was kind of sorry. I just to bait him in at what happened at Tequila Lodge, and then all of a sudden he was like. Well, my mom's dead, and I snitched on my dad because I believe he did it because, you know, he left he left a bottle behind and blah, 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 and there's a note that's stating, you know, my dad did it or whatever, so I had a snitch on him, and I told him that, you know, get, they're going to look in for us or whatever, you know. Oh, that fucking and, uh, little snitch. Yeah, and I was like, he I said stopped. Like, I, I was started to fake cry, but I was kind of, like, in tears because, you know, my sister's dead, even though I hated her. Yeah, I feel and, you. And, and then I'm like, wait. You snitched? And he said, yeah, of course I snitched. What the fuck? And I'm like, you serious, bro? And then so I had the gun on me because I pulled out a gun. Uh, Marcus had a dude. He gave me this golden gun. Yeah, I had a gun too on me too. I, I, I pulled out this golden gun and he like he was shivering in his boots, man. He tried to hit me and I just smacked him, pushed him away. I one tapped his ass in the head, bro. Like domed him. Hell and next yeah. thing you know, his brain splattered all over the fucking mirror, and I, I unleashed two whole clips in his body, dude. Well, he deserves it, because I went back to L.A. that I told you I went the other day, and I went up, met with Marcus and some drug dealers. I was getting ready to get guns. I know Mona followed me somehow. I don't know how I saw her, and she thought that she'd be a slick, but I lost her. And then I, I apparently... Mickey was falling because I found out from Marcus when I was in L.A. that some of the drug dealers that we dealt with saw him going up to the police station snitching on us saying that we're going to kill him out there and whatnot. So then they got scared and they flew back out here. I knew they flew out because Marcus said, hey, do you know these two motherfuckers got like a plane ticket because like you stole their car and whatnot? You know that? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, they got down here because they rented a car or whatnot. They probably had no money to get back and took a plane. I'm like, so they're going back to Wisconsin? He's like, yep. So I drove back and... Well, then I saw that she was at the trailer, and I walked up, and I just started stabbing the fuck out of her with a fucking bottle that I broke in half. And I accidentally dropped the bottle on accident, but, I mean, it doesn't matter because I left a note saying that I did it and that no one was able to stop us because, I mean, my son was going around. I mean, I'm not sure if he told Wisconsin police, but he was telling everyone, like, hey, like, my dad's trying to kill me, Dickie's trying to kill us, like, and they didn't believe him, and I'm glad they didn't because he deserves it, that fucking snitch. Mm. I hear you, man. Yeah, but uh, uh, but Marcus had hit me up. He had told me that there's just like a little airfield somewhere towards, uh, uh, I think it's like 
somewhere out in Grapeseed or something like that. If we could like make yeah. our way out there, he said there's planes and whatnot. And if we can make it, he said something about like we can get on planes. And there's this island. It's called Cayo Perico, man. And he said that we'll be working. Yeah, out there. yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was listening to Marcus uh, before I called you earlier. Remember when I called you and shit? Yeah. Uh, Marcus, Marcus was, was at, at the the, uh, the, the old spot, spot by the uh, by the liquor ace and shit. Oh yeah. He's, he was tell he was telling me about it that he's gonna have a. A plane set up for us, and we're supposed to meet some guy named Lobos, Lobos in, okay. in in Cayo. I guess he's a he's a part of the uh, Lobos Sonora cartel and one of the biggest drug dealers, and that's where he gets all his stuff from. So he's gonna help us out. We're gonna, I guess, we're gonna lay low because uh, I just looked at I just looked at the phone, man. I got two warrants out, not only for the assault from last time, but I have murder now. So <laughs> if I and you probably do too, hey, man. I think I do too because I mean I left the note saying I did it because I wanted them to fucking know I killed her. That fucking bitch, she threw me up for yeah. bitch, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just I just checked on the phone here, and yeah, I'm looking at it now, and it's it's showing me that I have a warrant out, two warrants, right. one's for assault and aggravated battery, and the second one is for murder. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's been. Yeah, it's messed up, man. But, but, but yeah, man. If we if, if we, we can make it to the airfield, airfield, I think uh, I think we 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 ought to be safe. We ought to be. I'm checking. Uh, I'm checking my uh, phone to see if I got any like records, you know. But just so you know, we can't we can't drive the uh, the cheese mobile. Yeah, I, I checked my phone, man. I, I want it uh, for uh, a mentally ill and uh, a killing. It says it's something about like a stabbing and whatnot. Yep, mine just says murder of Mickey Flowers Jr. Yeah, mine says murder of Mona Flowers. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, hey, let's try to get like uh, well, you got your phone's got a service that better than mine does. Maybe like try to like. Get a taxi cab, see if they could take us to like one of the airfields. If we can make it there, you know, we could get like you know, like out of context, get that plane and get out of here. If you catch my drift, yeah, we can go to Cayo, man. Yeah, but we need to get out of Wisconsin, man. We, we, we it was heavy in L.A. for a while, but something happened with the like records out there. We're clean out there apparently, but. Now, now we're hot out here, man. We got, we got to get out of here, man. Yeah, but if we, if we get a taxi to take us, man. I yeah, man. I just, I just put out uh, any taxi services. All right. Well, uh, just, but, but then again, I mean, who knows? Oh, I don't like that. Hey, as long as we're staying. Oh. Hey, we're, 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 no one can see us. I'm tripping, man. Whoa. It's a fire truck, man. It's a fire truck, man. You're good. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it was, a, it was that big fire truck. They got a fire station out here, man. I mean, I don't know why they're out here when they got that big one in Sandy that they never use. It's a waste of tax money, man. Yeah. It just put in the, uh, the, the twatter thing that we need a taxi. Alright, man. I'm gonna go sit on the porch over here. up against this wall right here. Found a lawn chair, man. Oh, nice, man. I'm just over here leaning against the wall. Oh. Yeah, but 
we got to try to get someone to take us out. And if we make it to the airfield, what we'll do is once we make it there, we'll go hide inside, like, the uh, little, like, where you can park a plane inside that building over there. We'll go hide over there. Or we'll get inside mm -hmm. and go hide over there. Then we'll quit. I'll keep recording. We'll quit. Go into the new server that you found. And then I was supposed to say you could probably, like, uh, just pause it when when we quit. Oh. Oh, there went the taxi. Hey, we got to walk down here and get his attention. Yeah, but no, I'll keep it recording because I can snip it all out, so it doesn't matter. I don't got to pause it. We just got to quit. Once we make it there, we'll go. Hey! Yo. Yo. T slash tweet. Taxi, come back. Taxi needed on pre-co. P.O. Drive. Zero one nine. Man, this guy better hurry up, man. We're in the open, man. Yeah, I know, man. But he wasn't stopping, man. That thing looked pretty fast, too. Yo, over here. Yo, over here. Yo. Yo, over here. Yo. What's up, man? Hello? You got anything you need to put in the back? Oh, we did a ride, man. All right, where you guys trying to go? He's got the he's got the information up there. Tell him, Dicky. Where would you guys like to go? If you mind putting it in the GPS. Uh, one eleven, the uh, McKenzie Airfield. All right. Well. Alright. How you guys doing? Not too, too bad, bad, man. We, we just, just got, got out of the hospital. hospital. Yeah, what happened? Uh, I ended up getting stabbed. Yeah, same oh. here. You guys got, you got, you got in a conflict or something? Oh, yeah. My, 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 my wife stabbed me. Oh, yeah. He, got, he got, yeah, she stabbed him. She threw him off a bridge and stuff, stuff like that. that. Ah, shit sucked. Cop over a cop. It's all good, yeah, but like she stabbed me and then I stabbed her and whatnot type deal. Oh, I hope you guys figure that out. Oh, uh -huh. y'all. <laughs> yeah, we figured it out type deal, you know. Oh, this says this right, says a here. deputy uh, just called for a, a taxi. <laughs> A, dep a deputy put in taxi is here. Oh fuck! I think I think they're looking for us. But yeah, man, we got we got to get back to work. We're supposed to be working on some planes and stuff. Oh, what, what type of planes you guys work on? Old crap dusters. We resurface them and uh, change out propellers and stuff like that. Yeah, then we got like those little like one seater things. It's got like a little engine and three wheels, and it's like a kite almost. Oh, and those glider type things? Yeah, it's like a glider. Yeah, movie. yeah, those things. All right, those things are fun. Yeah, they are. We gotta, uh, we, we, yeah, we gotta test them every time we're done working on them, so we get to fly them a lot, and we have so much fun, we don't want to give them up, man. Oh, man, I saw some videos going on this tube where these people were trying to do tricks in the air show, and he got his pilot, pilot license taken away for it. Yeah, I saw that on TikTok, man. Yeah, I saw it. You. Yeah, but yeah, we, we just need to get to the airfield. We're gonna take a vacation and get out of here for a while. Oh, where are you guys heading? Cal Perico. Uh, I wanted to go there before. Yeah, I never been there before either. It's a, it's a new place. I mean, so we're gonna do, we're gonna go see what it's all about, and whatnot. Oh, how yeah, you I, it? Yeah, I keep I, I keep hearing that it's kind of like Puerto Rico. Yeah, like a new place in the city they discovered. Uh, it's something. like it's like right out yeah, right off the city, it's out on the island. Yeah, we gotta take a plane to get there, man. Yeah, or a boat. And yeah, sometimes when I look on on the on my GPS I don't I don't see any island. Oh yeah, oh, well no. it, it's it's far away, it's not in Wisconsin. Oh yeah, it's it's far away, but yeah, no, uh, it's it's not in Wisconsin right now. 
Oh, okay. I, I got you. I got you. Yeah, so we're getting out of town. Oh, yeah. For the GPS, you can turn right up here. There you go. Uh, if we make it there. And taxi driver. <laughs> Four hundred dollars. Guys, fly often? Eh, not really. We usually drive in a van, man. I up to your van. Oh, it, it, it was well. My van it got impounded like a few months ago, and I haven't got it out. But my buddy's van it started smoking. The engine just started smoking, and it sounded weird. I know a few mechanics. Yeah, he, he he well, he called the mechanic to come take it up and fix it but I mean we're gonna be out of town for a while so I mean, I mean it could be in the shop and get fixed and we'll come back pick it up later you know I got you I appreciate the ride though I'm gonna give you like seven stars man ah I really appreciate that yeah, no problem man it's for your troubles man oh thank you guys so much hey, you're welcome man uh, do you guys want me to take over to the hangar? Yeah, take us to yeah, the hangar, man. Yeah, the hangar is fine. We're going to have to wait for our plane to come pick us up. We appreciate it, though. Yeah, of course. Hope you guys have a nice time. Anything. Make sure to call a taxi. Alright, yeah. I'm going to shut your door for you, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you guys, too. Have a nice time. You flight. be safe out there, man. Alright, have a good one, man. A few minutes later. Smoking a cigarette. Fuck, man, that was scary. That was scary, man. I think that, I think they're looking for us. I heard sirens the whole time oh, I was they running. Are. Yeah, the whole time I was running, I heard sirens, man, and I was vulnerable. I was running up the mountain where everyone could see me. I think I seen someone down there with like a camera or whatnot, like following me. But I was like far away from where he took the picture or whatnot, so they're not gonna know where we're at. But I. I I th I think from what he I think I mean I'm not 100 percent sure but I think the guy was probably thinking like I'm going to the top of the mountain or something hiking or something I don't know but he took a picture I saw I'm not sure if he snitched but I saw someone taking a picture of me man he's getting freaked out You should put on OC, uh, last scene on foot near 110. What I did is I did a 911 call and I put, uh, last scene, uh, I said, I put, uh, a hippie scene walking up the mountain, uh, uh postcode 128, which is kind of by us, but not really. But I did 128. Oh, and then oh, I, and then, I, yeah, but then what I put afterwards, put scene walking towards the top of the mountain. So I didn't put that we're coming over here. I put scene walking towards the top of the mountain. And then I want one call. So they think we're going up the mountain. Hey man, I'm gonna hide the trunk. Matter of fact, no, I'm not gonna hide this thing. I can't see shit, man. <laughs> And get it back to it. Oh, now I hear the seatbelt thing. Yeah, I know, right? Did you, did you register this car or anything? Nope. Alright, if we can make it all the way down the highway, past Sandy, and make it towards going towards the city, we'll RP that we made it to. We made it on like a plane and made it out of here. Our well, RP that we made it out of helicopter and we're leaving Wisconsin for a while. Well, we'll, we'll put it on a plane. Yeah. But we gotta make it to the airport first in the city. So we still got a little ways of the highway to drive down where we could get caught. Are you, are you typing? 
No. Uh, I'm eating chips. Some you didn't press N? N? No. Yeah, like, like to talk? Oh, yeah. I did it. I was, oh, I, I was gonna, okay. I was going to say okay. I was gonna say something, but I'm, uh, I'm over here eating sun chips. Oh, okay. <gasps> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, we got to get out of here, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, we gotta, gotta get out of here. I get a feeling that they're looking for us. Yeah, they're looking for us, man. Uh oh. Please don't say that's a cop. Where? Just keep, just keep driving. I look behind me, and there's a car in the distance. It might be an AI. It's hard to tell. We just gotta keep going, bro. Gotta get out of here. We're almost to the city, man. Barker said we'll be safe if we make it to the city. I feel like we're safe, but we're not in the clear yet. Oh, yeah, completely feel you. Well, I know Marcus said that uh, it's going to be less activity out in the city from when he checked in the police scanners. Careful up here, there's a police station on the left, man. Yeah, this is the, uh, the highway patrol headquarters. You never know if there's any highway just lurking over there, man. <laughs> Alright, it looks empty, man. said we gotta take this down all the way down to the airport uh, uh oh what man we're running out of gas oh uh, that, that that makes no sense on my screen we got a full tank man not mine man i think it's that weed i'm smoking man Oh, it's in the left-hand corner. Yeah, but it, at my eyes, it's filled all the way up. I think it's a weed I'm smoking, man. It, it, at my eyes, the needle's on the F, man. Not mine, man. I'm seeing sparks. Nope, not me. I think it's the weed I'm smoking, man. I mean, if we have to, we just gotta find another car. I wonder if there's a gas can in the trunk. I 
Hey. We gotta get out of here. No, come back. I gotta I gotta ask you guys a question. I'm sorry I gotta do this. Get out. Oh my gosh! Uh. Hurry, get in. It won't let me out. DV the vehicle. Oop, oh, there we go. Get in. I, man. Say, I, I just refilled it up. I had a gas can and everything. Alright, well I got a car, I stole it. I made the commitment. We're already done. Let's get out of here. Okay. Got my seat button. Let's get out of here, man. Make a 911. Yeah, make a 911. What should I put? You should put uh, two hippies seen in a stolen uh, four door car. Don't ma don't put the maker model. Just put four door car seen speed really fast heading towards the city airport. Marcus said we gotta go on the lower levels. He said he's got like a private little jet or whatnot that we're gonna take or like a helicopter or something. Yeah, man. He called the guy at the security gate and told him to let us in. We're still, still not in the clear. clear. Nope, not until we get in that helicopter, plane, or whatever he's got for us, and we get out of here, man. Hey, it's Mickey and Dicky. Marcus sent us. Oh, the gate's broken. Just hit it down. All right. Oh, I guess it's not broken. I think he said it was the hangar all the way in the back. Yeah. I know where it's at, man. I came here one time and helped them do a drug deal here, man. It's been a long time since I've been in this airport. Didn't know where the airport road was. Fuck, oh, man. Yeah, it's been a while. Because normally Marcus doesn't let us come out here because this is where, like, the cartel shit is. But now we're going to Kyle, so he wants us to... Get acquaintance with what's gonna be going on and whatnot. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think it's this one right here coming up. The black, the black. Hey, I think it's gonna be like a black jet. A few minutes later. Alrighty, everyone. We just made it to the hangar. Marcus has got this little crap duster for us. I haven't flown in years, but I'm gonna try flying because I haven't got to fly in a long time. All right, we made it here and whatnot. We gotta get out of here, Dicky. You know where you're going, man? Yeah, I know where I'm going, man. I just gotta make it to the w runway, man. You gotta be legit, Marcus said, or we'll go to jail. They're already looking for us, man. <clears throat> gotta get out of here, man. I'm excited for Kyle, man. I know, man, right? Get out of here, man. Full speed ahead, man. Just watch your altitude, man. We don't need the military tracking us. Yeah, I feel you, man. Oh, the view is so 
beautiful in first. Oh yeah? All I can see is like your head in front of mine, man. Oh, sorry, man. It's all good, but I mean, the other view looks amazing, man. Mm-hmm. Look at the water, man. I remember uh, flying these things the back in the day, man. So do I. Hey, you might want to start turning left there, but uh, that's what the GPS is looking. I know, man. Hey, you, you are done. Don't you cry no more. Yeah, I was talking to Marcus, man. I guess this Lobos guy is gonna show us his house. Oh, yeah? He's got a big old mansion. We we get to control the little weed farm oh. and whatnot. Yeah. That's what he was telling us, and uh, I guess we just got to be good. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, we, I mean we're, we're already not doing good. We're wanting. Mm -hmm. He'll try and keep us under the radar as best as possible. Hopefully a couple months or so. But he, that Lobos guy, he owns this whole island that you see. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've never been out here. Neither have I, man. But it looks beautiful. I might have to do a flyover so we can look at the mount, like the whole island. Oh, hell yeah, man. I think we should. And then I'll come back and land. Oh, hold on. Hold on, man. Crap duster control. Coming in. Over. Uh, yeah. Uh, is this Lobos? Or the security of Lobos? Uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're flying over in a crap duster. We're, we're flying over and do a, a, do a look over and then we're prepared to land. A few minutes later. Alright, we, we gotta go talk to our buddy over here. <clears throat> Tell him we, that we made it. Save sound, man. Hey, yeah. Uh, Mickey and Dicky here. We made it. We're here for Lobos. Oh, he's, he's up in the mansion? He told us to go wait in the hangar and wait for someone to pick us up and take us to the mansion. Alright, we're gonna wait. Look at this old plane. Yeah, it's old plane. Yeah, that is. Does it does it run? Uh, no, it's got a tarp on it. Uh, Whoa, look at these military guys, dude! Look at these pot plants, man. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's what we're gonna uh, be doing with, man. Yeah, look at these. Hey, oh, hey, is uh, it is that perb skirt? That's perb skirt and hooting any man. Oh, is that her? Oh wait, look at the back one, bro. That's cheese. Ah, uh, it's cheese, man. I haven't had that in a long time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna smoke some weed, man. A nice big TV, man. Yeah. They told us that this is gonna be like a little place where we're gonna hang out a lot. Oh, it's over there. I'm not sure what's over here, man. It's gotta be like supplies that they're not like, wanting us to see or anyone else to get. It's all fenced in, man. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Mickey and Dicky got away. This is going to be part five, which is going to be a three part episode, which is the grand finale. You're not going to see Mickey and Dickie for a good minute. They're going to be away longer than the last time. Last time we kept them away for a few weeks. I at least want to give it a month or two. Bring some other characters. But when they come back, they will come back to Wisconsin. And they will, like, pretend that maybe they forgot or whatever. Because, well, I mean, they're, they're old guys, whatnot. And maybe they'll think things went away. And then, basically, afterwards, then we'll see what happens. But until next time, we're going to, well... 
Wait for our ride and see what happens when we start selling drugs for Marcus here in Pio Corico in GTA 5 Roleplay. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, this five part series of Mickey and Dickie. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hey, give me, give me a hit of that. There you go, man. Uh, Slash weed. T slash weed. T slash emo then weed. Yeah, that's weird. Usually, <laughs> usually it's E slash weed, you know. Yeah, I know, man. But uh, all right. Yeah. Well, as we sit here, and smoke. Have a good time, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you guys next time.